Hi guys, Jace here. As you know, a fit of a saddle is very subjective and personal. And what is one person's razor blade is another's comfy sofa. Now, I decided to get a new saddle for a couple of reasons. One, that I've been having a few saddle sores lately. I'm not sure why, it's probably because I've been in the, on the indoor trainer a little bit more than I should have. And once you get one, it's pretty hard for it to go away. And the other is because I've had some low back problems, I wanted a little bit more of a comfy saddle. So I decided to get this saddle. It's the Physique Antares versus Evo R1 Adaptive Saddle. <whistles> Bit of a mouthful. Now let's have a look at the saddle in more detail. Have a look how it performed have a look at the future of saddles and also what I think of it. Let's get to it. The Evo Zero comes in at a whopping 400 euros. The Evo One comes in at 300 euros and the Evo Three 250 euros. Now the only difference really is the material uh, and the zero is about 160 grams. This one, as I said, is 180. I'm not sure what the three is, probably another 20, 30 grams or so on top of that. Now they all have the same top and the same cushioning. The evolution of 3D printing allowed Physique to partner up with a company called Carbon to use their technology to create the upper. Carbon have also partnered other companies such as Specialized that make the mirror saddle. Using Carbon's technology, biomechanists and engineers manufactured functional zones with a distinctive cushioning and mechanical response, joined together progressively in the same padding. So if you look at this, the front is quite firm and it softens up in different zones. So you, I think you've got the, the four different zones and the cushioning is slightly different. You may be able to see really soft there, gets firm here and firmer to the front. Physique also say that this saddle is going to last a long time. They say they've put it through the most severe tests, simulating accelerated weathering, UV aging and wear resistance by following strict protocols. Another reason I bought the saddle was that I entered a Strava challenge and I got 30% off the physique saddle. Uh, I figured that I got it at $350 instead of $500, so if I didn't get on with it, I'd be able to sell it on pretty easy enough. Now let's have a look what I thought on the road and also mountain biking in various scenarios. Just finished a fast and flat three hour group ride on the Saturday morning. And the saddle was really comfortable today. Uh, I just need to move it a, a millimeter or two back for me so just to get the position right but it was really supportive and I think that continuous channel down the center helps with the perineal area to stop me getting saddle sores in that area so yeah pretty positive so you can see today I've got the saddle on my e-bike and it's done about 35 40 K today and it's uber comfortable, but I have got lots of suspension um, So can't complain, but I am trying it on every bike I have to say that during that ride I fell off the bike several times There were no marks on it, but you know I probably wouldn't use it for technical enduro stuff on your enduro bike more cross-country bike And the bike cleaned up pretty well as you can see uh, you probably can't see how dirty it is but uh, With just five ten seconds worth of hosing it came up perfectly now I did do a five hour mountain bike ride and I found that the padding offers internal damping. It's not rough to the touch and it doesn't cut into your inner thighs when cornering. You can feel a little bit of rub if your baggies rise up however. I didn't find this saddle slippy in wet conditions and I didn't snag on my shorts more than any other saddle when trying to get over the back of the saddle when mountain biking. And this particular ride was a five hour ride so I was in the saddle quite a lot and maybe even longer than that because the first half of it was the family and the second half I rode back on my own. Now that was all pretty positive but you obviously need a very good bib short to interact well between the chamois and also the saddle. 
Now, once you've got this, it doesn't take long to appreciate how comfortable the saddle is. And it's in firm in the areas that you need to be firm in, but also uber comfortable. One of the concerns people do have is, is it gonna be easier to clean? Well, I found it uber easy to clean, easier than a normal saddle. I had dirt in there, I've had sand in there, um, mud in there, and every time all I did was spray it with the hose and it came out very easily. Overall then, am I gonna keep the saddle? Yes, I'm gonna keep the saddle. My only concern is, how am I gonna get another saddle so I don't have to keep swapping it between bikes? So fingers crossed, Physique do another 30% challenge on Strava, because I'll be in like Flynn. What is the future of saddles? Well, with all this trickle down technology, we've seen it before with electronic group sets, with high end group sets, high end um, accessories and products, that they do tend to trickle down after a while. And if they scale them up, then we're more likely to get them and they're more likely to become more accessible, slightly cheaper and easy to use. So I think in the future, we'll definitely see more of these 3D printed saddles. Could we see custom saddles in the future? Yes, I think we could, and especially for the pros, but Physique will have to make a standardized protocol to avoid people getting the saddle and then disappointed because it doesn't perform how they wanted it to perform. Now, thanks for watching. As I said before, these saddles are very personal and very subjective, but I hope it's helped you make a more informed decision on whether or not you're gonna fork out your well-earned money for this saddle. Now, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, give me a thumbs up if you like the content, and I will see you again soon.